at your work, you need to take a test. Oof. I guess I'll try to study for the test. Okay. Just so like, you know, I can impress the, the higher ups, the heads, the, the bosses and all that boss, stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you study for the test. Mm -hmm. It's test day. Why are you taking it? Your boss just burges in and goes, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to explain to him that I'm taking the test. All right. He goes, you know, you only have 50 minutes to take this. 15? 50. All right. So then I will, I will parcel my time out responsibly to uh, take this test. All right. Well, then he comes back in about five minutes later and goes, what are you doing taking this test? You should be working. I, <laughs> I thought this test was mandatory to, to my job. It is mandatory for your job. Then can I take it or? Mm, it costs me money. Then he goes away. He's he comes back in in about 10 minutes. He goes, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm taking, oh my God. I, I'm going to reread this test, see if it's actually even legitimate. It doesn't is seem it, like you're being treated fairly. Yeah. It's, okay. well, is this test even legitimate? It's legitimate, but the problem is, is he's a lunatic. While he keeps coming in, you haven't been taking the test. Because he keeps interrupting yeah. me? Yeah. I'm going to just try to ignore him and barrel through. Right, he comes in about like eight minutes later. What are you doing? <laughs> he's going to barrel through. He's like, barrel fuck, through. I got to get this test done. Tony. Wow. You're his son, and... You heard your dad was going to take this test. Mm -hmm. You want to know what his score is. Okay. Why are you so interested in my test scores? How old is he? Like six. Oh. You should be way more worried about playing outside. Like, how, why do I drag my six-year-old well, into my well, career? So I'm concerned that your dad may if have, you don't pass the test, you'll be fired. No one will right. be able to go to Disneyland. See, Tony understands his child's mind. Those are adult things we should be keeping away from our kid. We just like play Disneyland, Nintendo. Though. I don't want to miss Disneyland. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> right? I know, but like play Nintendo. Well, maybe you can just tell me if you passed or failed. I'll, I'll keep you in the loop at my okay. inner work. <laughs> if, Alex, you don't, if you don't mind. Okay. Alex doesn't know yet. <laughs> okay. I'll CC you when I get the. Right. When I, I get appreciate the Alex okay. doesn't actually know yet. But well, when will he know? He'll know in a day, but your dog tells you, why don't you just hack the computer <laughs> and get your dad's test scores? Okay. So you're insane too, talking to dogs. I mean, oh. I talk to the dog all the time, don't I? Yeah, you do. So does he know how to hack a computer? No, but he goes, maybe you do. Well, I'll try it. All right. I'll go to www.dadsjob.com. You get there. <laughs> I'll click the login. Password and name. My dad. <laughs> score. <laughs> and for password, I'll type <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get it. Okay. What the hell? I guess I'm pretty good at this hacking thing. All right, so it lists there goes uh, your dad's test scores. Okay, I'll click on that. <laughs> your dad got a 78 out of 1,000. What? That, now, I'm only six, and yeah. I'm probably not great at math, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's not great. That's right, you're right. Oh, man. The dog goes, why don't we just change his test scores? Uh, and to make it easy, I'll just make it 780. All right, but well, the dog like, goes, no, why do, you make it, why do you make him a genius, make him a thousand and one? Ah, screw it. I'll just change it. Okay. I'll, I'll change it to a thousand and one. Okay. So you get your test results back. All right. You got a thousand and one out of a thousand. Wow. And your boss comes barging in and goes, oh, I'm going on vacation. They're forcing me to. Because you got the highest score, you are now in charge until I get back. What, really? I yes. got the highest score? Yes. Wow. Arr, grumble off. So I, I, I got his job now. Okay. Well, I guess I'll, I'll start doing his job. All right, you got a call. Hello. From your rival. I have a rival? Well, he does. My boss has a rival. That's right. Okay. He goes, how about a game of golf? Game of golf. Yeah. I'll do the I'll do the round of golf and I'll get to know this guy, schmooze him a little bit and, and you know, maybe sweeten the pot and make make right. this rivalry not so intense. Okay, so you're playing the golf game. Are are you mm -hmm. winning or what do you do? Are you trying to play good? Or? I'll I'll play to the best of my ability. Okay. Well, it seems like he's playing to the worst of his ability. On purpose? Maybe. Does it feel like it's on purpose? Maybe. <sighs> Maybe he's just bad at golf. All right. Well, I'll I'll beat him at golf. if You do? Yeah. And he goes, wow, you're a great golfer. Well, thanks. I mean, I try. You know, I got this. Uh, I can't. I don't have enough of our materials to take on this contract, but I know you guys do. How about I just give it to you? Contract? Yeah, you guys are in the same business type. Oh, okay. So There's like, a contract with an outside contractor. Like, I okay. can't fill it. Maybe you guys can. You know what I mean? Here, here's this stuff for your uh, your warehouse. It'll make it so it won't fall down. Well, that sounds like a great deal. It's called brittle off. It'll make sure it doesn't get brittled. Oh, that sounds awesome. I'll yeah, that sounds great. I'll All take right. that. Yeah. And then take this contract. Okay, you get the contract. You get the brittle off. You gonna yep. spray the brittle off on the warehouse? Oh, all over it. I'm gonna double coat it because he gave me two. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure. All it's right. Super. Guess not what? Cool. It brittles everything. 
and it all busts. Yeah, it's a brutalizer. Oh. Yeah, that's right. And he the put co- the he put the wrong label on the contract. The opposite of with what a deadbeat company that doesn't pay. That doesn't pay. <laughs> Why would he do this to me? Now, Tony. Know, what? Your dog goes. Maybe you should confess to your dad that you cheated for him. Well, all right, I'll tell him. Alex, Tony comes up to you. Hey, I have a confession to make. All right. When you took the test at work, mm-hmm. I, I hacked into the computers, and I noticed that you got an extremely low score. So I changed your score to the highest possible plus one to make it seem like you were better at your job than you <laughs> than you really are. This is why I don't like involving you in my personal business. Because you have no business dealing with my work or hacking computers. You're six. Well, I know that now. So, but then I wasn't so sure. Right. Why are you telling? You should not be into adult stuff. Again, Go play outside. Get a Nintendo or something. You see, and I'm gonna take your dog to the pound because he's a bad influence. I'm well, gonna be a pretty smart dog. Gonna bring him out in the woods. Tony, when you're here, you're you see cans of brittle off that you know are actually not brittle off because you saw the chemical compound. What is he a super genius? Is that what's going on here? He could be. You know the shit by chemical yeah, so I compound. See, I see them. I'll tell him. You didn't use this, did you? I used it all over everything. You do realize that it's not what it says it is in this can. It's fake, fake label. Yeah, because it broke everything. Yeah, it brittleized everything, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Made because it it's brittleizer. Tony, you also know it's a contract that has the name of a company that you read in Forbes magazine is Our a bad beats. company. Yeah. This company right here, Dad. You know what? You want to go to work, and I'll go to school and play Nintendo because okay, I'll, actually, I'll do that. I'll I decide. And you know, this point forward, I'll just go do his, do his job. job. All right. So, you, how, how you're you, obviously better at it. I think I probably am actually. How and are you gonna get back at the guy, or how are you gonna get your company back? I'll do that one last thing, and then you take over my job forever. Because okay. you're obviously better. All right. So I'll take good. care of this one guy. We still go to Disney. The way I know that's, that's my biggest concern. You earn enough money, buddy. We'll go any every. Well, the dog land. says, "Why don't you just guys get revenge?" Oh my God! The dog talks to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why don't you just get revenge together? I mean, he's kind of smart. You're there. Why don't we just quit all of our jobs and take this talking dog on the road? <laughs> That's probably a really good With idea. Win bar bets and stuff. That's a great idea. You know what Let's I'm going to do? do? I'm going to I'm going to get a little bit of revenge, quit my job, and then we'll take this dog on the road. All Sounds right. good to me. How are you going to get revenge? I'm going to paint my teeth gold, and I'm going to get a baseball bat, and I'm going to go over to this rival's house. But I'm just going to bash him into pieces. What are you going to paint your gold teeth with? Teeth goldener. Okay, it's not really Teeth Goldener. Let me see the oh, can. Oh, it's a wrong label? Let me see the can. I've already sprayed it all over. What is it? Why do you instantly spray all the cans that you have in your hands, Dad? Could you please? I, I can't help it. Are there any other cans around? Yes. Wait, what? don't Because you had to make a baseball bat. Right, okay. Is it a baseball batter? Is this baseball batter? I'm going to start spraying it. It's not baseball batter. Oh, Wait. Where I Why am? do you keep spraying the cans? The, the, Dad. Someone's Dad. taking Dad. all of the labels Dad, calm and down. putting them on different things. Did I spray baseball batter on my teeth? Yeah. Is that what happened? Your and then te- I, you don't have baseball bats all over your teeth. <laughs> and, the, and, I, and I sprayed the teeth goldener on the on, so on you, my hands. So yeah, you have so my hands are gold. You have a, yeah, you have like Midas hands now. Oh my god! Why is everyone switching the labels on things? Probably because there was a can of stuff that said not label switcher, but and it I was sprayed, label switcher. And I and you sprayed, sprayed it, it all over everything. everything. So I sprayed the the not label switcher. On everything yeah. in a label switch. Exactly. Might I suggest oh, fuck. two things. What? One, don't spray any more spray cans. I'm going to spray every spray can because I don't. Okay. Tony now is part zebra. You now have a clown face. <laughs> that works for me. I'm going to take my com- baseball teeth clown computers face. computers everywhere. I'm going to take my baseball teeth clown face and my gold hands. I'm going to go slap this dude. Okay. What were you going to say, though, Tony, before he starts spraying? <laughs> You were saying I have two things. Oh, yeah. The other thing, we should try deep frying things in the baseball batter because that sounds delicious. <laughs> it's nine innings of delicious. You get your revenge. I have no idea what the hell your revenge is now. I'm, and I'm clown face baseball teeth, <laughs> gold hand slapping. Deep, this deep fried in baseball batter. And then deep you, fried in baseball and batter. And then yeah, you guys apparently start uh, deep frying baseball batter and take the dog on. On the road, like a circus road. tour. At least we discovered baseball batter. Yeah. Which is the thing I toss all of my fries in. <laughs> I would. I'd yeah. be deep friend everything. Zucchini. Yeah. Che- cheese sticks. Cheese balls. Cheese balls. Chicken wings. 
mushrooms, breadsticks, cauliflower. All right, oh. I think this is just going to go on for a while. So ranch for sauce. I d- dip it in the ranch you could do sauce. You yeah, could do baseball hot dogs instead of corn dogs. You have baseball batter dogs. Oh, you could sell those at Fenway you Park. You could sell them at the baseball park. Send them on all like the parks. Gangbusters. Yeah. And uh, that was an episode of the Jetsons. Thank <laughs> you.